Oke, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Halo, student. Halo, sir. Halo, sir. How are you today? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I'm good. How about you, sir? About you? Uh, I'm good also. Thank you, Ai, for asking me. And before we start the lesson, uh, let's check the attendance first. And based on participant in here, all of you come to Zoom right now. Alhamdulillah, ya Rabbil Alamin. And Allah, I hope Allah still give us good and healthy condition. Uh, and all of us can join in science learning activities regularly. Amin, ya Allah, ya Rabbah, alamin. Uh, so, students, let's start the class. Uh, what can you see in the surface of the pond if you took the stone? Anybody want to answer the question? May I, sir? Yes, I go on. Uh, the surface of the pond will change and the water in the surface is like move, sir. Excellent answer for I. Thank you for the answering the question. And who else want to answer the question? Uh, may I, sir? Yeah, Anaza, go on. Okay, the, the water receive the stone and make water have different level than before. Great, Anaza, for uh, answering the question. Uh, uh, excellent observation for you. And then for this question, Mary, some other question. So, what the form of the water surface after receive the stone? Anybody want to answer the question? Maybe me, sir. Yeah, I. Uh, the answer is. Uh, it's like grass and true, sir. Yes, this is correct. I uh, yeah, thank you for uh, answering the question. So this phenomenon is one of example phenomenon that we call it wave. So the wave can be form of grass and true. So for today material, we are going to learn about the wave and its properties. After watching the video, you will be able to differentiate the characteristic of transverse wave and longitudinal wave. And after uh, discussion, you will be able to calculate the speed of wave, wavelength, and the frequency. After doing the virtual lab activity, you will be able to analyze uh, the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and speed of wave. And after doing the virtual lab activity about the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and speed of wave, you will be able to present your result in front of the class. So regarding to the material, uh, let's see first about the wave and let's see the video first about the wave and its properties. Waves. One of the first things we need to know about waves is there are two different types of wave. One shown here by waves in the sea and the other one shown by sound waves. So how are they different? Well, first let's look at the sea waves. If we look at them represented with this slinky, we see that the vibrations are at 90 degrees or perpendicular to the direction of travel of the wave. These are called transverse waves. And examples of them are waves in water, waves on a string, or light waves. Now let's look at the sound waves again. Again, we see them represented by the slinky, but this time the direction of vibration is parallel to the direction of travel. These are called longitudinal waves, and the only example you really need to remember is sound. One really important thing to remember about waves is they only transfer energy from place to place, not any matter. And we can see that here by looking at a lovely rubber duck sat in a bath. As a wave goes through, the duck bobs up and down, but once the wave's gone, he's back to his original position. The wave has carried energy through, but it did not carry the duck with it. Finally, we need to know some key features of waves. First off, wavelength. 
A wavelength is the length of a full cycle of a wave, from one point to the next same point. It's easiest to think of as a distance from crest to crest or from trough to trough. And we measure it in meters and it's given the symbol lambda, a nice Greek symbol. The amplitude is like the size of a wave, but we need to remember that it's measured from the equilibrium position or the central line to the crest, not from the crest to the trough. Finally, frequency, which is the number of complete waves to pass a point every second. And it's given the unit of hertz. So an example of this would be if 10 waves pass in 2 seconds, the frequency would be 5 hertz. Using these things, we can actually now calculate the speed of a wave. So student, based on the video, uh, is there anyone who want to give the summarize about the video? May I, sir? Yeah. Uh, go on, Icha. Mm, based on the video, what I got is there are three points. Yeah. First is there are two different type of wave. First, like a wave in the sea, and the second uh, wave, uh, like a wave in the sound. And the second point is in the transfer wave, the direction of vibration is perpendicular to the direction of wave. And the last point is in the longitudinal wave, the direction of vibration is parallel to the di direction of wave. Maybe that's all, sir. Yeah, excellent observation in the video for Anissa. Uh, so based on the video, what we got that the wave can be uh, can be as a transverse wave and can be also as the longitudinal wave. For the transverse wave, the form of the transverse wave is like crest and through, while for the longitudinal wave, the form of uh, the wave based on the video is like a reflection and uh, compression. So the characteristic of wave inside the wave uh, can uh, include the amplitude, wavelength, frequency, and speed of wave. So these characteristics may raise the main question for today's activities. What is the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and speed of wave? Anybody want to answer the question? Okay, no worry. Uh, if you do not, you, if you can't answer the question, because this question can be answered by today's lab activities. So for today's activities, uh, we use pet simulation, and I will divide you into three groups. The first one is Anis group, and the second one is Anazar group, and then the last one is uh, Anisa's group. And also, I will uh, send the worksheet via uh, chat box and also via our WhatsApp group. And to make it uh, clear to you, I will share uh, first about the uh, pet simulation. Uh, let me share my screen. So in this uh, screen, uh, you have to choose uh, this part. And then also, you have to choose the side view here. So you have to uh, set the frequency and also set the amplitude in here. And also, you have to choose the graph. After that, after you choose the graph in here, you can uh, choose the button here to see the level of the water. Uh, I will choose the button here. So let's see here, the wave is produced by the water. Okay, let's move to the other one. So based on the instruction here, may raise the uh, main question, the main activities. The first one is you have to 
uh, pour the water by clicking the green button as I instruct before, and then please wipe the wave, draw the wave that represent in the pet simulation. After that, uh, the second activities, you have to observe the relationship between frequency and wavelength. You have to use the rule that are represent in the pet simulation. And then the procedure, you have to pour the water around five seconds post the display of the, the wave and observe the wave flag. After that, we have uh, three, the other uh, activities is you have to observe what is the relationship between frequency speed and the speed of wave by uh, pour the water around five minutes, five seconds and uh, set the frequency in the maximum. So, based on my instruction is it my instruction clear it's clear enough sir yes it's clear okay. uh, because the instruction is clear and you you know what what you want to do uh, so let's open your worksheet and i will divide you into brick out room and for the for filling the worksheet is around 20 minutes so you may start right now so student time is up and you have to present your work in front of your class so uh, is there anyone representative of you in the group want to present your work from group one is me, sir. Okay, I and other group. Is there anyone who will present again? Uh, me, sir. Okay, there are two groups that will present their work. The first one is Ice group and the second one is another group. So I will invite the first group, which is uh, Ice group, to present uh, their work. Okay, sir. Sorry, I cannot share my screen because it's still disabled. It's already okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you see my screen? Okay. Yes. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am from group one. I am the representative from group one. And this is our worksheet. So it's about the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and, and speed of waves. So for the question number one is about put uh, are you familiar with the longitudinal and transverse wave? Which the type of wave is being shown in the simulator? In the simulator, so the answer is transfer waves, and this is the the graph of transverse transverse wave. And for the second is the answer for a wavelength one is two point seven centimeter. And for wavelength two is equal to 1.7 centimeter. And based on your observation, what the relationship between frequency and wavelength? So frequency is inversely proportional with, with the wavelength. And next question is, can you see the different speed and of wave between different frequency? And our answer is yes. And based on your observation, what is the relationship between frequency and speed? And uh, frequency is directly proportional to the speed of wave. And my, our conclusion is frequency, frequency is directly proportional with the speed of wave and inversely proportional with the wavelength. Maybe that's all, sir. Okay, uh, thank you, Aya, for uh, presenting your work. 
And please, uh, I will invite the group second group with Anazar to present your work. Okay, sir. Let me share screen. Okay. Okay. This is our worksheet uh, about the relationship between wavelength, frequency, and speed of waves. Okay, this, uh, this is the answer from the question. First, are you familiar with longitudinal and transverse wave? Which type, it, which type of wave is being shown in the simulator? The answer is a transverse wave. And our this is a, please draw the wave. And this is the wave, the graph of wave. And then the second one is the pour water for around fifth five seconds after the after that pause the display of wave and observe the wavelength the wavelength uh, one is a uh, 2.7 centimeter and then after that set the frequency maximum do the sum of a uh, procedure with number two and the wavelength the wavelength is a uh, 1.7 centimeter Based your observation, what the relationship between frequency and wavelength, and then the our answer is the greater uh, the greater the the frequency, the smaller the wavelength. And number three, can you see the different uh, the different speed of wave between different uh, frequency? Yes, and based in our observation. The relationship between frequency and speed is uh, the frequency is uh, directly proportional with the speed of wave and the greater and the other one is the greater the frequency and uh, the greater the speed of wave. And from this uh, experiment, uh, my uh, our conclusion is frequency is di directly proportional with the speed of wave and inversely proportional with the wavelength. Maybe that's all, sir. Great, uh, good answer for Anazar. And uh, for you that uh, present the work uh, all of group, uh, the answer is correct. And uh, thank you for give uh, hard working in your presentation. Mm -hmm. And I will continue uh, the class activities uh, because you have done uh, the worksheet and I will give you some additional information about your result. So student, based on our result from the observation that we have done, we have to think the first one is frequency is directly proportional with the speed of wave, right? So we can symbolize like frequency is f is directly proportional with the speed of wave we can symbolize as v after that we have frequency is inversely proportional with the wavelength so we can symbolize it by frequency as f is inversely proportional with a wavelength we have lambda so for the wavelength will symbolize a lambda. So those two equations can result in one main equation. So the equation can be as f equal to v over lambda. After that, with the mathematical equation, the lambda can move to the other side. For example, here, move to this side with the multiply equation. So result in lambda times f equal to v so at the end we have uh, the main equation for the speed of wave is lambda uh, is v equal to lambda times f so i will box it first after that 
after that if we have to calculate speed we have to calculate also the wavelength first so uh, the wavelength can be determined as the descent from the crest to crest or through to through or we call also we can conclude that the wavelength can be uh, in the form of one crest to one through for example here uh, we have 10 meter in here for example so this 10 meter is the distance from the original until the end but uh, if we observe it there are two wavelengths and uh, there are two waves the first one here while for the second one is here so there are two wavelengths right so at the end the lambda can be determined as 10 over 2. So, this is lambda is 5 meter. Regarding to the frequency, uh, the equation of frequency is F equal to uh, the number of waves divided by time. For example, here, uh, the from the original until the end uh, need uh, six second. So for frequency here we can calculate it. Uh, F the number of wave here we have to write uh, the first wave and then the second wave right. So this is f equal to and because there is two we write two over six so at the end f is one over three hertz do you get the point student so after that we have to uh, exercise uh, regarding to the equation right so for example here I have 16 meter and then I have uh, the wave can travel around four seconds. So how to determine the V? V can be determined by T3 step. The first one, we have to uh, determine the wavelength here because there is two wave right the first wave and the second wave so for the distance for two wave itself is 16 meter right so we have 16 meter because there is two wave will be divided by two at the end uh, the first the lambda is eight meter so here the first step so let's move to the second step. So for the second step, we have to calculate the frequency. As you can see in the previous slide, frequency equal to the number of waves divided by time. Okay. For example, here the number of waves that we calculate, there are the number. We just uh, write down two equal over the times. Uh, that given is four seconds, right? So we have four seconds in here. So at the end, the result is F equal to one over two hertz. So let's come to step three. So for the step three, we have the equation of the speed. Speed of wave equal to a flame times frequency, right? So V equal to uh, the wavelength is a the frequency is half so resulted at the end is the speed of wave is four meter over second so that's all for this uh, explanation about implementing the wavelength frequency and the speed of wave in the mathematical equation.
uh, oke okay, student because you already understand about the calculation about the wavelength frequency and speed of wave uh, i will give you uh, some exercise regarding to that and i will send you first in the whatsapp group and also in the chat box and also i will share you in the screen Uh, so let me share my screen first. So the item consists of three questions and can be answered uh, by 15 minutes. So the first one, uh, you have to uh, differentiate between longitudinal wave and transverse wave. And then for the second one, you have to calculate the wave. Uh, wavelength, frequency, and speed of wave. As you can see in the worksheet, after that, in the last number, is you have to analyze the relationship between the wavelength, frequency, and speed of wave through the mathematical equation. So this uh, this test uh, you can write in your paper. For the number one, you just uh, mention. Uh, whether A, B, C, or D is the correct answer, but for number two and number three, you have to write uh, step by step to find the result. Okay, so then, uh, is it my uh, instruction clear? Yes. Uh, okay, because yes, it's clear, you can start start right now, and uh, we will go back in. 15 minutes. Okay, student, because time is up, you have to uh, capture your work and send it into our Google Classroom. And because uh, limitation of time, uh, so let's come to the end of the session. But we, before we end up the class, uh, can you summarize what we have learned today? Is there anyone? Who will summarize it? AI, sir. Yes, go on, Icha. <laughs> yes. Uh, what we learned today, I guess, is uh, first, wave can be transferred and longitudinal wave. The wave has several characteristics, for example, wavelength, frequencies speed of wave and period. And then the speed of wave can be found through the equation C equal to lambda times F times F. That's our class. A great summary for uh, Anissa. Thank you. Uh, so that's all for learning activities. So based on our uh, learning activities, we have to say thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Uh, because uh, creating the wave, wave can give us the light that uh, make me see the beautiful world and sound that can we hear in daily life. Okay, that's all for activity for today. Uh, don't forget to send your work into Google Classroom. And for the next meeting, we will learn about sound because sound is part of the wave, right? Uh, so let's end up the class with saying hamdalah alhamdulillahirabbil alamin assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you sir thank you sir thank you